Now, let's look at some illustrations on single and multi-step methods for solving differential equations. Question number one, given y dash is equal to log of x plus y subject to y of 0 is equal to 2, h is equal to 0.2, the estimate of y 0 0.4 is. No method is mentioned, so let us uh, take a very simple single step method called the Euler's method. Just for the sake of visualization, suppose this is the solution curve, this is x0 is equal to 0 and corresponding y0 is 2. x1, let us say because h is 0.2, h is 0 0.2 and we want the solution at 0 0.4, we will have to do two estimations, one with 0.2 and finally at 0.4. So, we need to calculate y1 and y2. So, y2 is finally the output. So, let us see first part y1 is equal to y0 plus hf of x0 y0. So, this is nothing but y0 is 2, this is h 0.2 and the function is log of x plus y. So, this becomes log of x naught plus y naught. x naught is 0, y naught is 2. So, it is nothing but 2 plus 0.2 log 2. Log 2 is 0 0.693 approximately. So, 2 plus, so we will get sum. 0.1386. So, this is nothing but 2.1386. So, this estimate of y1 is this much. When it comes to the next one, y0 plus hf of x1 y1, not y0, but y1 plus. y1 is already this much. 2.1386, h is again this difference that is 0 0.2 log of x1 plus x1 is 0 0.2 plus y1 is 2.1386. So, estimate this you will get approximately some 2.149 etcetera which is seen in option B. So, this is uh, two very simple executions of the Euler's method in steps of point. Question number 2, given y dash minus 2y is equal to 3 e power x with y of 0 is equal to 0, h is equal to 0 0.1, the estimate of y 0.1 by Taylor's method is. So, we will have a small figure just for because y of 0 is equal to 0 the solution curve is passing through the origin x naught is 0 x 1 is 0 0.1 so we are trying to find out y 1 where h is this difference so h is equal to 0 0.1 if you look at the results I mean the options they are all given to some 3 or 4 places so therefore we will go up to let us say three decimal places. But you can see it all depends upon the derivatives of y which are required. We already know y dash is equal to 3 e power x plus y plus 2 y rather. We need two more derivatives, so we differentiate. y double dash is 3 e power x plus 2 y dash and y triple dash is equal to 3 e power x plus 2 y double dash. 
if you decide to go for one more derivative add one more derivative but this should be sufficient now once these things are there you can estimate y not dash y not double dash y not triple dash from here for example y not dash will be to substitute x as x not y as y not x not is zero y not is also zero so this becomes 3 e power 0 plus 2 into 0 so you get just 3 now y not double dash will be again you put x is equal to x not y is equal to y not this becomes 3 e power 0 that is 3 plus 2 y not dash becomes 2 into 3 6 which is 9 like that y not triple dash is equal to 3 plus 2 into 9 is 18 which is 21. So take these values and substitute it here y1 is equal to y0 is 0 h is 0 0.1 into 3 plus 0 0.1 whole square by 2 into 9 plus 0 0.1 whole cube by 6 into 21. This can be estimated and you will get some answer of 0 0.3 something which you can find in option A. Other uh, options are much far away from this result. So this is a very simple uh, explanation of the Taylor's method. Question number 3. Given y dash is equal to y square minus x square by y square plus x squared, y of 0 is equal to 1 h is equal to 0 0.2 the estimate of y 0.2 by the rk second order method is let us calculate k1 as hf of x naught y naught this is nothing but h is a 0.2 as you can see f of x naught y naught is y naught square minus x naught square by y naught square plus x naught square. So this is x naught and that is y naught. So it will be 1 minus 0 by 1 plus 0. This is 0.2. K2 is hf of x naught plus h y naught plus k1. This is 0 0.2 into f of x naught plus h. x naught is 0, h is 0 0.2. So it will be f of 0.2 comma y naught is 1 and k1 is 0 0.2 so this is 1.2 putting this into the function you will get 0 0.2 into 1.2 square minus 0 0.2 squared by 1.2 squared plus 0 0.2 squared so this can be estimated and once you get that y1 is equal to y naught plus delta y. y naught is 1, delta y is half k1 plus k2, where k1 and k2 are available from the steps. So this approximately settles to, to some 1.196, which you can find in option C. Question number 4. Given y dash is equal to x squared minus y, y of 0 is equal to 1, the cubic polynomial approximation of y1 by Picard's method is okay. Let us do y1 first approximation as y0 plus integral x0 to x f of x comma y0 dx. y0 is 1 plus integral x0 is 0 to x f of x comma y naught so replace y with y naught which is 1 so it is x square minus 1 dx so if you simplify this this is 1 plus x cube by 3 minus x from 0 to x so 1 plus x cube by 3 minus x so this you can actually see contains a cubic polynomial in fact, when you go to the next approximation, 
this y0 becomes y1 first approximation. So, when you actually put this there and do the second iteration, this would probably have become a fourth order polynomial. Therefore, the required result is already obtained. The cubic polynomial approximation is this. The correct option for this problem is B. Question number 5. Consider the differential equation dy by dx minus y of x is equal to x with the initial condition y of 0 is equal to 0. Using Euler's first order method with a step size of 0.1, the value of y.3 is. The first thing we must do is to write this differential equation in the standard form. dy by dx is equal to x plus y. This term goes to the right and becomes x plus y. So, this is uh, the so called f of x y. Now, we have h is equal to 0 0.1. Let us see the picture. x0 is 0, starts from here. Now, there is a step size of 0 0.1. We want the solution at 0 0.3. Therefore, Euler's method should be applied in three steps. So, and because y of 0 is 0, the solution curve passes through the origin. Let us say this is the rough sketch of the solution curve. So, we want this, we want this, only then we will get this. So, if you call this y1, y2, y3, this is the final output that we require. So, let us start with y1. y1 is y0 plus hf of x0, y0 y0 is 0, h is 0 0.1, f of x0, y0. So, this will be x0 plus y0 and x0 is 0, y0 is 0. So, you simply get 0. So, this y1 is 0. That means, the curve is still passing through the origin. y2 is equal to y1 plus h f of x1, y1 y1 is 0 plus 0 0.1 into, now it is x1 y1, x1 is 0 0.1 and y1 is 0. So, you get 0 0.1 into 0 0.1 which is 0 0.01. Now, comes the final calculation. y3 is y2 plus hf of x2 y2. This is nothing but y2 is 0 0.01 plus h is 0 0.1 into f of x2 y2. So, x2 plus y2, x2 is 0.2, y2 is 0 0.01. So, therefore, it will be 0 0.01 plus 0 0.1 into 0 0.21. So, this will be 0 0.01 plus 0 0.21. 0 to 1. So, if you add, this becomes 0 0.031 and this corresponds to option B. Question number 6. A differential equation dx by dt is equal to e power minus 2t into u of t has to be solved using trapezoidal rule of integration with a step size of h is equal to 0 0.01. If x of 0 is equal to 0, then the value of x at t is equal to 0 0.01 is. Now, first what we do is, we take this equation and using separation of variables, we integrate. So, you get x is equal to and because of this step function, the integration will be on the interval 0 to 1 this is identically equal to integral 0 to 1 f of t dt. So, we have identified the function f of t as e power minus 2t. So, x of 0 0.01 is integral 0 to 0 0.01 e power minus 2 t dt and by trapezoidal rule, this is h by 2 
इंटू एफ ऑफ जीरो प्लस एफ ऑफ पॉइंट जीरो वन वेर एफ ऑफ टी इज ऑलरेडी नोन हेच इज पॉइंट जीरो वन बाई टू एफ ऑफ जीरो विल बी ई पावर जीरो सो दैट्स वन प्लस ई पावर माइनस पॉइंट जीरो टू बिकॉज यू हैव एक्सेस टू कैलकुलेटर यू कैन डू दिस एंड दिस अप्रॉक्सिमेटली कम्स टू पॉइंट डबल जीरो डबल नाइन करस्पॉन्डिंग टू ऑप्शन सी